let's start in the Old Testament. Genesis. God created the world. So we make a circle. Exodus. God parted the Red Sea and walked through. Okay. Uh, Leviticus is the law, the laws uh, that God gave Moses, and Moses told the people. So it's, they needed to know the laws. Numbers, that's an easy one. One, two, three. Numbers. And then Deuteronomy is the second time the law was given. One, two. that the Bible often compares us to sheep? Do you know anything about sheep? Well, sheep are very needy animals. They can't take care of themselves. They need a shepherd to do that for them. You see, they don't know where to find food or water or where to sleep or how to protect themselves from danger. They need to listen to the voice of their shepherd and follow him. The Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 3, he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. You see, the shepherd knows the names of every single one of his sheep. He doesn't forget who they are. He takes good care of them, just like Jesus knows every single one of us. In verse 27, Jesus says, my sheep listen to my voice. Jesus is our good shepherd and he speaks to each one of us. We just have to listen. You see, when you accepted him into your life, that means that you now belong to him. And just like the sheep know the voice of their shepherd, we should know and recognize the voice of our good shepherd. Do you know how God speaks to you? Well, he speaks to us through the Bible. The Bible is God's word, and it was written for you. You will learn all about who God is and the plans that he has for your life just by reading the Bible. Jesus speaks to us through prayer. Jesus wants to be your very best friend. You can't have a best friend if you never talk to them. When we take time to pray, God is listening. And sometimes we just need to close our eyes, think about him, and sit quietly so that he can speak back to us. You might get a feeling inside that he's trying to say something to you, or maybe he will remind you of a scripture verse that he has for you. God also speaks to us through his Holy Spirit. Do you know that feeling that you have when you're trying to decide what is right or what is wrong? It's that gut feeling that tells you maybe you should or shouldn't do something. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. We need to be careful and listen and obey his spirit. Sometimes he speaks to us through other Christians. God gives other godly people to us. And maybe it's a kid's church leader, or maybe it's a Christian friend. God gives wisdom to his children. So allow God to speak to you through other Christians. God can also speak to us when we are at church. He can speak to you through kids' church, through small groups, through preaching and teaching. There are lots of ways that God speaks to us. In John chapter 10, verse 14, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Our good shepherd only wants good things for us. He knows that listening to his voice is part of having a good life. Do you have a pet or know someone who has a pet? I have a really sweet puppy named Oliver. I love that dog so much and I just want good things for him. I'm never gonna let him do anything that will hurt him. I always feed him and I take care of him. I need to take care of him and meet his needs. I will always protect him and keep him safe. You know, we have a fence around our yard and even though sometimes Oliver tries to get out of that fence yard, 
I won't let him. What he doesn't understand is that if he gets out of that area of protection, he could get lost, he could get hit by a car, he could encounter a wild animal. He can't protect himself. He needs me to do that for him. If he were a sheep, I would be his shepherd. Jesus describes himself as a gate to protect his sheep. It's sort of like that fence that's around my yard. You know, there's something else that Jesus says that he does for us as our shepherd. In John chapter 10, he tells us three different times that he lays down his life for his sheep. He did that when he died on the cross to pay for our sins. He did that because he knew that we needed a savior. I'm so glad that Jesus is our good shepherd and that we are his sheep. He speaks to his sheep so we can hear his voice. He meets all of our needs. He always protects us. He gave his life for us because we needed a shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. I love that the Bible reminds us that Jesus is the good shepherd. Shepherds always do what they should for their sheep. They always look out for their best interest and they always try to help make sure that their sheep are taken care of. I love that the Bible reminds us that that's one of the things that Jesus does for us. So today, I just wanna pray for you. Lord, today I pray that you would help each of us remember that you're the good shepherd and that you love us and you guide us and you lead us. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to always remember that you are faithful. In your name we pray, amen. Doing a new thing, making my heart sing, bringing color to this brand new day. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer, you're always with me and you're here right now. My song, a melody, you're a perfect love for me. My heart is full of praise, your love it makes a way.
We're so glad you joined us for Be Kids Time today. We hope you learned something new and that you always remember that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Remember that we also have Be Kids online via Zoom on Wednesday evenings at 645. Have your parents sign you up online. And then also that you can sign up to come to service on Sunday mornings at 1030 a.m. We hope to see you guys soon.